Okay, here we go. Okay, hi everybody. Welcome to another English class here on Verbling.com. My name is Lisa, and I'm one of the English teachers here at Verbling. And in this hour, we're going to be having a fun class uh, watching some funny uh, commercials, car commercials with dogs. And the idea is this is a speaking class, actually. So we're going to be talking about the commercials, narrating uh, what's happening, <laughs> what's going on with the dogs, uh, lots of different things to talk about and describe. So if you have a reservation for this hour, you can uh, go ahead and get your reservation, use your reservation now. Um, and uh, if you don't have a reservation but you want to join us, then just uh, wait a minute and when you see the join class button up at the top of the video, then you just click on that and what happens is a new window opens for you and that's the Google Plus Hangouts window and then you'll show up down here in the bottom and uh, then you will be participating in the class so let me just say hi to people and if people want to come on in I know some other classes are just finishing up so maybe we will uh, see some other people join us in a minute hi uh, Krishan how are you okay Krishan where are you calling from I'm from India. This is not my first class. I have already taken uh, some class with you. Okay, awesome. Nice. Well, welcome. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, let's see, Anatoly is joining us. Hi, Anatoly. Welcome. Hello. Thank you. Okay. And uh, hi, Wellington. Hello. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, guys. Hi, everybody. Yeah. And Greg. Hi, Greg. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Good day so far. Uh, I'm in Washington State in the United States, so for me right now it's just 10 a.m., 10 in the morning, and so kind of starting my day. You guys are a little bit later than I am, so <laughs> hopefully you've had a good day so far. Okay, all right, well, um, we ha might have some other people um, join us, but let me just explain how this class is going to work and as people join us uh, they can uh, join us and and they'll understand. Hi Carlos. Hi, hi Lisa. Welcome. So um, this is a speak, like, speaking class mo mainly. <laughs> we are going to do some watching. Uh, we're going to watch a few videos but they don't really have very much uh, uh, language in them so you guys are going to provide the language. So these um, videos that I'm going to be showing you are actually TV commercials for uh, a car and uh, you'll see which car that is in a minute but the idea is we're going to be uh, watching them and then kind of doing a few things maybe narrating them describing them talking about what's going on in the video and this is just another way to practice your vocabulary um, learning how to describe things accurately. Sometimes we do this by looking at just pictures and sometimes we like to do it with uh, videos. So um, there's not necessarily a lot to understand in terms of a listening class. We're not going to be hearing a lot of language but you guys are going to be doing the speaking. So um, the way we need to uh, do this, and let me just say uh, hi Jose also, um, is we need to make sure everybody has uh, you have your YouTube app open because that's where I'm going to show these videos. They're on um, a playlist and uh, we're going to go through a couple of different ones and um, when we're doing a speaking class I want to just remind people that uh, I want everybody to have a chance to speak. Uh, you, it's not necessarily a lot because we have a lot of time if we have a lot of people in class but hopefully everybody will have a couple of different t opportunities and then of course you get to listen to what everybody else is saying and also if it's your turn and somebody has already said something and you want to say the same thing or something similar that's okay because it's for you to practice saying uh, it yourself so if somebody says well this is what I think is happening or I would say this and you want to say basically the same thing that's okay go ahead and say basically the same thing because it's for you to practice uh, speaking so everybody needs practice speaking and even if you're saying something basically that's the same as what another student said 
that's okay. All right, so you're just going to be practicing, you know, yourself. Okay, let's see. I think we have some more people. Sarah, hi, Sarah. Welcome. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hi. Uh, Sarah, where are you? Laptop. Okay. I, it's working. Sarah, where are you from? Um, I'm Emily, actually. Uh, my oh, okay. laptop. You're on your um, laptop. Has broken down. So I'm with my sister's account now. Okay, no problem. All right, good. Welcome. And uh, Emily, where are you from? Germany. Oh, okay, cool. I'm from Germany. Oh, yeah, okay, your sister. I know your sister, Emily. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, picture with the yellow flowers. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, I remember now. Uh, Tanner, how are you? Hi, teacher. Okay. All right, you're going to be silent. Okay. All right, well, here we go. Um, so, number one thing is let's make sure everybody knows how to open up the YouTube app. So uh, all of the apps are on the left side of the Google Plus Hangouts window. So if you take your cursor and you, I'll show you how it works here. Take your cursor and go over to the left. You see all of these, we call them icons, and they're different things. So um, the top one I have is the drawing application, then the group chat, then the screen share. Um, and then down here, there are three dots. And when I hover over the three dots I can go to the YouTube app and everybody has to have their YouTube app open in order to watch the video and hear it at the same time so I'm gonna open mine now and we will do a test to make sure everybody is on the same page and we can everybody can see the videos that's important and then I will tell you what we're going to do next so let me open mine and it goes to these videos here. Okay, my problem is my screen is a little short. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, so let me do a little test. Now I have to switch uh, to the group chat for typing. So if anybody wants to type a message or something, uh, go ahead and open your group chat. Hi there, Hamid. <laughs> You are there. I'm there. Um, and let's do a little test here. I'm going to push play. And when I push play, everybody should be able to see the video. And there's some music, but there's no talking. All right, let's just do a test, and then we'll ch I'll check in with you guys to make sure it works. It started for me. Okay, good. How about everybody else? Does anybody not see the video? Everybody sees the video. Okay, great. All right, so this is the idea. We're going to watch it, and then uh, I'm going to ask you guys some questions about it, and you will answer, and we will talk about it, and then we're going to do this for a couple of different ones. Okay, so let me go back to the beginning, and we'll start from the beginning. Okay. 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 <laughs> All right. So, uh, Anatoly, let's start with you. Can everybody hear me? Good? Yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Yes. Just in a couple of words, what is that commercial about? <laughs> what is going on in that commercial? About uh, um, <coughs> selling Subaru. A Subaru car, uh, yes. <laughs> Subaru car, yes. Uh, it is... Uh, uh, Who are the main characters in the... Uh, oh, say it again, Anatoly, I didn't hear you. Uh, I, 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 uh, I'm not sure <laughs> uh, who is, uh, what is uh, 
message from this video. Uh, it looks like uh, just memorable video for people uh, because uh, every time we can see so many advertisement that mm -hmm. uh, only something distinguished to uh, uh, attract our attention uh -huh. and uh, maybe it was uh, the main purpose. Okay, so you think maybe the main purpose is just to that's my answer something interesting to watch. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, Carlos. What about uh, for you? Who were the main characters in this uh, short the commercial? Main, well, the four golden retrievers. That's the name <laughs> of the breed. Uh, yeah. It's. I agree with Anatoly. It's not. In my opinion, it's not so clear to understand this commercial. That's one th one thing. Number two, you are American, so you are fami familiarized with the exact type of of the track that was. Going around, in my opinion, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I guess I guess it's, <laughs> yeah. I guess it's food of ice cream because they were smelling and they were tempted. Oh, I see. Go, yeah, yeah. Okay. They were tempted to, to, to stop and go to go chase that track, but they didn't. So that's uh, the message that uh, they wanted. They prefer to stay uh, driving this car instead of going uh, to get something else. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. It's a good uh, good car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Okay, so yeah, good. And Greg, what? Um, so Carlos, you mentioned the type of dogs. So I, I want to make sure people have, you know, maybe you learned some new vocabulary this uh, during this class. So yeah, uh, the type of dog that the, the 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 male dog who is the driver, that's a golden retriever. But I think the female dog who is in the passenger seat. She is actually a, a yellow lab, so Labrador retriever, a little bit different, I think. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll watch it again. But uh, Greg, what uh, what are the dogs doing? So let me let me let, let's watch it one more time here, and I'm gonna exp I'm gonna stop it in the middle and explain some things here. Hold on. So here we go. Okay, so Greg, what are the dogs doing right there? Greg, can you hear me? Greg, your microphone is muted. Okay, let me go to Hamid. Hamid? Yes? What were the dogs doing? They are uh, barking uh, and maybe uh, they are uh, trying to uh, say to hi for uh, their other friends. Okay, so they we don't yeah we don't actually know we just see them barking. Okay, yes, so they, or maybe uh, they try to say hi uh, for to other uh, vehicles uh, drivers. Okay, maybe they're trying to say hi. Um, now, does anybody recognize this type of truck? Carlos, you were mentioning it, but it's not an ice cream truck. It's a different kind of truck. Does anybody want to make a guess of what uh, kind of truck it is? Is it a van? It's a it's a van, but what do you, what is it for? What is I the think uh, it looks like, uh, uh, for example, there are some uh, street animals, so they can oh, put uh, a vehicle the driver. Okay, maybe they're trying to say hi. Um, <laughs> now, close the uh, verbling other window, Greg. Well, I'm, I'm just curious because uh, maybe you guys don't recognize this because it's not the same in, in your country. Um, does anybody have any guess what this could this truck could be used for? Uh, uh, something that carries food or maybe a security, security truck? Yeah, it looks like that. Yeah, that, that's kind of true. It's not, but it, uh, you're right. We have trucks that look like that, uh, security cars for like getting money from uh, stores and transporting money or food delivery or something. So I'm going to tell you what this is and see then if you, if you think it makes more sense. This is a mail truck. So a mail uh, delivery truck. And so here in the United States, maybe this is a cultural thing, but uh, the mailmen uh, in many towns, uh, especially in the past, they would deliver the mail going door 
to door. So a mailman would walk around a uh, town and a neighborhood and go from house to house to deliver the mail. That's how we say that, to deliver the mail. And it was very common for dogs to bark at the mailman and sometimes to chase the mailman around. So maybe if you've seen some American movies, that's uh, sometimes in a movie, the dog's chasing the mailman. So that, that's the, uh, that, the image here is what they're trying to do. So I don't know if that's something <laughs> that happens. Uh, Hamid, in Turkey, how does the mail get delivered? Generally, there are postmen. Uh, postmen, uh, they can use a uh, bicycle or a motorbike, uh, so they can put our uh, apartments uh, doors, our uh, posts. Yeah. And uh, Lisa, in that uh, card, the blue object is envelope. Uh huh. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's very common for dogs, um, you know, you have your dog at home and the mailman comes up to your mailbox or something to deliver your mail and the dog starts barking. And if your dog is outside, then sometimes it's really barking and sometimes it might even chase after the mailman. So that's the idea of what's happening in this particular video here. Okay. Uh, Krishan, what, is, what does it mean, dog tested, dog approved? you have any dog idea? Test. Krishan? Yes. Do you have any dog idea what that means? Why would they say dog. that? Dog tested, dog approved. Yes. Yes. Uh, it means, uh, sorry. I don't have any idea. No, okay, no problem. Good. Let's see. Does anybody else, Sarah or Tanya or Wellington, do you want to tell what you think about this idea of dog tested, dog approved? For me, it's uh, because um, I think this is a treat. So um, when the the dog, uh, because the dog is uh, traveling uh, through the into the car, uh, and this is a message uh, saying that the car is very safe. And yep. uh, and uh, like it, the dog is the best friend of the the man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The the man must uh, true must uh, uh, in the message. <laughs> like if it's okay for the dog, it'll be okay for men. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Good. Good. Yeah, it's kind of a crazy commercial. I don't know. Uh, Emily? Emily, your microphone is muted. Emily, are you there? What, uh, let's see, Tanner, you're not participating. Okay, Wellington, let me go with you still. So do you think this is a very effective commercial for a car? For me, no, not. <laughs> but uh, I think uh, my my wife is uh, work uh, worked uh, in a advertisement company, oh, okay. a great company, yeah, uh, uh, worldwide. Wow, <laughs> so uh, uh, th this people is very crazy. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Sometimes they they think that. Uh, uh, a message, some message, uh, some a message is very useful to sell uh, one pro this, to sell the product, uh -huh. but uh, sometimes is uh, is very uh, waste of time. <laughs> waste of, they 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 waste money, and I, I think they they. Uh, they, the 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 goal sometimes is, is do something different. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Yes, for sure. Something they, different. Yeah. Do yeah. You, so, go sorry. Ahead. No, go so, ahead. Because because sometimes they wanted to do more. They wanted to sell the product, the product product, and uh, uh, together they wanted to do uh, something. 
like a movie, like a, a new art. <laughs> like art, yeah, okay, uh-huh, sure. <laughs> yeah, I think that's true. Okay, let me, uh, let me just, I'm putting up another one here. Let's see. So the title of that one was What's the Fuss About? Uh, Greg, do you understand the, the term fuss? What's the fuss about? Uh, fuss is like something confusing, something that can let us, uh, you know, think about something, maybe thought-provoking, something that actually is not exactly clear. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we also can say, like, what's the fuss about? Like, what is everybody thinking about? You know, what's the fuss? What's going on here? You know, like, if you walk into a party and everybody's, like, uh, yelling about something, maybe somebody's having an argument or something, and you can come up and say, what's the fuss about? What's what's going on? What are people... Going and, actually, and actually, this commercial is a quite a good example of uh, using this technique to promote this car, because people actually don't think too much about the car, but they actually will remember that there was something strange and... <laughs> Kind of example that yeah. uh, I remember that if they promote the phone in Poland, actually they always there was a time they always use the same two comedians who they talking about something, but nobody actually understand what they want from <laughs> them. They didn't really much to about the phone. And actually, they, there was a logo, but actually people say that was a funny joke, but nobody understand that, and these people were quite weird. Yeah, this is similar. Similar. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So it it, it uh, I think it's like what Wellington says. These uh, advertising agencies are very, you know people are very creative and they come up with crazy ideas. And I think it's like what Anatoly said is uh, you know we have had so many commercials, so many ads. They're just trying to come up with something that you know is funny maybe or that you remember, but it doesn't really tell you anything about if the car is a good car, what the price is, if it, you know, what the benefit is to buying that car over another car. <laughs> so we're definitely in a different uh, phase of marketing and commercialization. So that's what they, they made a whole series of these. So sometimes uh, advertisers, they do this where, like you said, they, uh, they get like maybe a, a person or you know, a couple of different people, famous people, and they use them for lots of ads, but in this case they're using this family of dogs. So instead of humans, they're using dogs. So let's watch another one. And uh, part of the speaking also is just describing what you see. So I'm going to ask you guys to just describe some things in this next one as well. Let me see if I get the right one here. Let's see here. My screen gets a little small. Let's see. Okay. Okay, not that one. I want to go to the next. Whoops. Okay, what is going on in that one? Okay, Anatoly, what what were the dogs doing in the car? It uh, they uh, played a romantic scene, uh -huh. as, uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, um, that dog, the third dog, who uh, was barking. Uh, from the, the room, yeah. uh, probably uh, um, partner of uh, one of the dog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, they are uh, lovers and uh, they uh, prefer to disappear. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> 
what is the plot yeah yeah okay Carlos what what uh, let let me just play one part and I want you to describe uh, what's going on here hold on let's play this one part So how would you describe that, Carlos? What are the dogs doing right there? Well, they, they, these dogs in here represent people, so they are kissing each other. <laughs> yeah, they are kissing each other. But as dogs, do you know that word in English, what they're doing with their tongues? Licking. Lick. Exactly, licking. I want to make sure everybody knows that. So how to describe that is they are licking each other, or in this case, like you said, they represent people, perhaps, and so they are kissing. French kissing, in fact. We've been talking about French kissing, actually. Yeah, with, 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 tongue. with the tongue, yeah. <laughs> That's with the tongue. Okay, good. And so they're kissing each other, and so what is that? What are they doing there? Cattle. Cuddling, yeah. yeah. Cuddling. Cuddling or uh, putting their hands or their paws. For dogs, we call them paws. Their paws together, yes. Um, now, if you guys remember, I don't know how much you paid attention to the first video, but Greg, um, in the first video we see like the family. So we have the representative of the dad, the mom, we had a little baby puppy in a car seat, and we had another one. Uh, which one do you think this is? She has the pink collar on. I have no idea. I didn't. <clears throat> I don't know <laughs> which one of okay. will be. I think... I don't know. It will be like a mother dog and father dog. I don't know. <laughs> so. Okay, Hamid. I think I agree with you. I think it's the sister. Yes, sister. And uh, his, uh, her lover. Yeah, Next to her. her boyfriend, probably. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it looks to me like in the first video, there's a family, and she represents maybe like the teenage sister or something like that, the older sister. Yeah. And a barking a dog uh, in front of the window, uh, probably the father dog. Yeah, let's watch it and see if we can recognize, because they're using the same dogs in these ads. So. <laughs> okay, so they're kissing, and Jose, what happens? Uh, I, I think uh, the both dogs... Uh, they are f falling in, in love. They're in love, yes. Yes. And, and the, 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 the another one is watching through the through the window. I think that could, could be jealous about the situation. <laughs> jealous. Let me back it up a little bit. Let's watch it and then we'll describe it. <laughs> All right, so how would you describe what happened? They were kissing, and then they stopped. Why did they stop kissing? I don't know why they stopped kissing. Does anybody want to guess why did they stop because, kissing? Because uh, there are lights uh, on. The lights came on. We say the lights came on, and so that... You know, they surprised them, and then oh, we see... They started to, be, they started, uh, to panic. Yeah. <laughs> so what? Uh, so they're kissing, and then watch the, the lights. And the, and the music stops, and so what do you, who do you think is the dog? Is that the mom or the dad? I think that... Dad. Dad. Yeah, I think the dad. I think yeah. I think if from the other commercial, he was the one driving. So that's the dad. So the dad barks. That's how we describe that. The dad barks, and then all right. So then, uh, Krishan, how would you describe the next action? The dog, the dad barks, and then what happens? And then um. They moved. Uh -huh. Then the boy. He said the boyfriend. He does what? Uh, he came out from car. Oh, that's not the boyfriend. That's the girl. That's the daughter. Oh. <laughs> the boyfriend. 
He's in the car. Okay, he's still in the car. Yes. And, and uh, yeah. Uh, and says, uh, us. Oh, uh, <laughs> don't idea. Sorry. Okay, uh, Emily, do you know how to describe that? What happens with the boyfriend? What does he do? What's the action that he does? Emily, your microphone's muted. I'm not, not sure if your microphone's working or not. Wellington, do you want to describe the action? What What does the boyfriend do? Um, at, uh, at first, the, the, the boyfriend, he, he uh, I think, he, uh, he stay he is he was um, worried <laughs> and, and maybe frustrated frustrated yeah frustrated and so he he goes uh, he, he goes because the father maybe he is very um, <laughs> Um, authority. <laughs> yeah, he's the dog. Uh, maybe the father's angry, right? Yes, angry. Yeah, <laughs> and, and the female <laughs> <laughs> goes uh, goes uh, back to the car. Yeah. So I want I want this act. I want somebody to describe this action right here. It starts the engine. He starts the engine, and then I'm looking for he drives away. You guys know that uh, phrasal verb there? To drive away, when you put the preposition there, away, it means he's leaving. So the girl, dog, she got out of the car. Let me say she got out of the car, and he drove away. That's how we would say that. <laughs> so she has to presumably she got out of the car and he drove away so that she could go home to her dad but what happens next <laughs> what happens to the what does the girl dog do Wellington uh, she, she goes uh, uh, I don't know I'm not sure about the words but she goes direction to the to the car Mm -hmm. uh, because this is normal. Uh, dogs go <laughs> uh, 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 back. back uh, I don't know. I'm sure uh, about the word. Okay, I'll tell you. We would describe uh, this right here. So sitting there, and and we would say she is running after, or she chases after yeah. the car. He is chasing after the yeah. car. Yeah. Or running after. You could say running after the car, too. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Hamid, what did you mean um, when you wrote in the chat the underline was also meaningful? I think uh, this starts uh, with a dramatization, blah, blah, blah. If you uh, revert, you can see again. I can see what? Oh, the words there? So uh, the words on the commercial say dramatization. dramatization and professional driver on closed uh, course don't attempt always uh, secure your pets. <laughs> yes, it just means don't think that your dog can drive your car. <laughs> so this is a, a dramatization is when they make like a play or a little piece of theater. It's a drama. We call that a dramatization. It's not real life, you know. So. Yes, and don't take it serious. And yeah. don't uh, try. Yeah. Don't take it seriously. This is just uh, for fun. So uh, let's see. Which which one do you like better? Jose, which um, ad do you like better so far? The one where the dogs are barking at the mail truck or this one with the, the woman? Uh, <laughs> the dogs are barking because the the mail truck, I think. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, good question, Tanner. Why do you think they use dogs instead of cats for these types of videos? Anybody want to guess that, Carlos? Why do you think they use dogs and not cats to represent humans? Um, well, it's, they are easier to train the, the dogs, and uh, they, are, they, are, they are closer in, in the way they act compared to the cats because the cats are more I individualist uh, yeah. type, type of animals. I would agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Greg, which one is more memorable for you so far? The first one or the second one? I think the first one will be more memorable for me because I didn't I catch too much sense from when I watched the first time. I have to think a little bit about it. And the second one is perfect example of one of the commercial that you know you know exactly more or less you know what was happened, why what was happened, and why actually they do it in the same similar way. Sometimes you see I don't know in many uh, simple movies. And actually, they, I, don't, I think that many people will just forget uh, quickly about the second commercial because they, uh, they know that there's nothing happens with the people in the situation when did it with the dogs that doesn't make too much difference. But the first one will be more uh, easy to remember, easy to say. Oh, there was a strange commercial. Nobody actually catched for the first time. Maybe some people didn't understand what was actually happen when they what they had decided to watch it more yeah. t several times. See, well, it's interesting because Emily's um, probably having trouble with her connection, but I'm curious, which one do you think appeals to men or women, the first one or the second one? Do you think women would like the second one more because of being more like a romantic or not? Yes. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> yeah. The second one. Yeah, the second one. So, you know, remember commercials definitely try to appeal to different people who might want to buy the car. Although it's interesting because the person in the the commercial who owns the car is the boxer, which is the boyfriend. So the boyfriend is driving this car this time instead of a family car. So maybe that's also another idea of this type of car maybe is more for young young guys. Whereas the other car in the first commercial maybe is for uh, families, like family car or something. Okay, let's uh, watch another one here. Let me see if I can get it. It's, let's see here. All right, this one's called, if I can open it, it's called In the Dog House. And I want to see if you guys understand what it means. Oh, darn it. I have to add that one <laughs> back. It's called In the Dog House. And that's an expression in English, which means uh, you're in trouble. So let's see. Let's see if we can play it here. Okay. Uh, next. Okay, let's watch this one, and then we'll describe it, talk about it, and see if you understand what it means to be in the doghouse. He's in the doghouse. Okay, Hamid, what, what do you think he's in the doghouse for? <laughs> I think uh, that is a, a nice uh, Jaila City uh, study for this uh, video. I also understood uh, for different languages, I love you. Yes, a French song saying I love you, yes. Yes, and also uh, the uh, singing lady says je uh, t'aime, te amo, like that. Yes. <laughs> so uh, when uh, one lady dog uh, was uh, crossing uh, over uh, from pedestrian way, the driver dog uh, started to uh, fell in love uh, at first sight. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes. Then uh, the pink uh, color uh, dog uh, starts to uh, how can I describe? Starts to barking, but yeah. Then uh, she shows his emo her emotion angrily in aggressive mode. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's uh, let's start from the beginning and let's describe it here. So let's do a little bit at a time. Okay, so right there, what what do we see? The, who can just describe the scene? The car come. Why does the car stop? Why does he stop the car? Jose? Why does he stop the car? What? Sorry? Why does uh, the car yes. the, the car is, is driving for 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 one dog and the car is, the car is uh, near to the to the line uh, mm -hmm. so uh, sorry do you see the sign there on the corner the sign the, there's a stop sign yes the the car the car is stopped when the, the dog see the stop sign exactly so uh, let me just give you some words here. This is a corner here. Yes, yes. Stopping at the corner because there is a stop sign. And yes. uh, this part here where there's, uh, that's called a crosswalk. So, crosswalk, okay. Yeah. And so that's when we're going to see this dog. Let's uh, watch it a little bit here. Okay, uh, Wellington, why are they playing that uh, romantic music in the commercial at this point? <laughs> A romantic music is because um, uh, the, the doggy, the, the poodle. <laughs> yeah, the poodle, that's a called uh, Yes, yeah, the poodle yeah. represents the other girl. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A new girl. <laughs> yes. Uh, a green, uh, grass green, the, 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 the uh, like, like he, sometimes he's, we said, the green grass, the other, in other house. <laughs> okay, the, the grass, yeah, the grass, yeah, the grass, the grass green in other house. On the other side, yeah. <laughs> yeah <on> the other side. <laughs> exactly. So, um, how would you describe this dog? A poodle. Uh, he's very well shaped. Yeah. Very yeah. well shaped. Um, like maybe uh, she, he's, uh, he, uh, she, uh, I think he's a female, no? a female poodle. Yeah. And uh, it, it, it looks like he, uh, she is using a um, a jacket, uh, <laughs> yeah. yes, a, a jacket of a, 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 a curve, 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 badly. Um, uh, I, 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 I know. Um, the tail, the tails, yeah. Yeah. Fair. Yeah, and um, uh, ah. He's uh, the dog is is from yeah uh, elite is yeah. uh, I think he opulent uh, the opulent uh, wealth wealthy <laughs> wealthy elite wealthy dog. okay <laughs> wealthy dog yeah wealth dog yeah yeah I think he's this <laughs> yeah okay let's see what else yeah because this is what's called uh, symbolism. Symbolism in the commercial. These, uh, you know, she stands for something else. So of course they're using dogs, which is makes it funny. But of course she stands for like a, a female, a woman. And what kind of woman does she symbolize? You know, like what do you think of? So Anatoly, if this was a, an actual human being, a real woman, what would the woman look like? If a woman was walking across the street, she would be blonde, 
Tiny. Uh, her figure uh, is tiny, uh -huh. and uh, she uh, knows she, that uh, uh, she is beautiful. <laughs> yeah. uh, she doesn't uh, hurry uh -huh. because uh, she likes when men uh, look to her for her. Look at her. Yeah, you can say she likes that. Uh, we would say she likes the attention. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, that's that's. I think that's what they want you to think there. So maybe she's also uh, maybe younger. And I think Tanner wrote about it. You have a family man. You know, here he is. He's driving in his car with his wife and his kids. And then his expression on his face is like kind of. We have the word longing. When you, the expression on your face is a longing, it's like you just are kind of dreaming, like, oh, that would be nice, you know, like, I wish I was doing that instead of what I am doing. So let's watch his look again, which is funny that it's a dog doing it. <laughs> wee wee, mostly. Okay. So yeah, here he is. He's just watching her. Uh, so we would say she is crossing the crosswalk. So she's crossing the street in the crosswalk. And that's how you describe that. And yes, Hamid, uh, the the female dog, which is the mother, which is the wife idea there, uh, she's snarling. There's some other words that we could say too. Does anybody know another word to describe that sound that she just made, the dog made? Growling. Exactly. Yes, yeah, she is growling. Good. So she's growling at him like, oh, "What do you think you're doing?" You know. <laughs> and then So she just kind of uh, got a little upset. She noticed what he was doing. And then they keep putting the dog tested, dog approved, which I don't know if it's very effective or not, but uh so which, uh, Carlos, now we have three videos that we watched. Which one do you think uh, is your favorite? Well, this one by 100 miles. This one, <laughs> yeah, this one because it made me ha laugh really hard, so this one is for okay. me. Okay, good. So they're using humor to make you laugh. Yeah. What about you, Greg? Did you like this one or do you still think the, the first one? The first one was... The, the funniest one. Yeah. <laughs> I think it will be something that will be fun to watch it several times. It won't be, I don't know, boring like the second one because the second one could be boring after watching many times. Uh huh. It would be annoying for someone, but that is my opinion. <laughs> Do you think uh, that men can relate, like, especially maybe an older family man, like a father? can relate to this commercial? Yes, actually, then uh, it could be. I can imagine the similar commercial made in this way that we just replace all of the dogs with uh, women's and uh, men's and some kids at the back of the back seat of the car. So it could work. But it won't be so interesting like with the dogs. That's it won't be funny. Yeah. That's a good so, point. Yeah. So someone had a sense of, sense of humor who, who made it, had uh, some good idea, simple idea how it works in real life and like that. Maybe you will make it a little bit funny, maybe a little bit weird, but it, it's actually weird to give uh, the um, dog similar like uh, characteristic things like this puddle, uh, how it looks like give him the same impression of other dog and show him this way. It's, weird. it's quite weird <laughs> when, when I think about it, what I'm watching, but sometimes I'm watching a similar thing and sometimes what I'm watching, you know, but it's, it's funny. It's funny. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Certainly, again, trying to use uh, humor for advertising, something that stands out. The car is actually very, uh, very minor. We say a minor player in this commercial. We see the car, 
uh, and of course the action is taking place in, inside the car, but the it doesn't really say much about the car, you know, how fast it drives or how well it handles on the road, you know, those types of things. So definitely just using humor to try to make something um, memorable. Okay, let me uh, go to another one here. Let's see what the next one is. Oh, wait a minute. Let me just say, so what does it mean to be in the doghouse? Does anybody understand? Uh, in this case, the, I would tell you the, the father, the man, he... Uh, is in the doghouse. So what what do you think that means? I think it can be uh, the real life uh, status uh, from um, mother and uh, father's uh, fighting, verbal fighting. So <laughs> we can see uh, generally uh, between wife and husband. So it shows the reality life. So maybe they message because of that the uh, house for that reason. Okay, that's a good guess. What does anybody else have a guess? What do you think it means uh, to be in the doghouse? And I would tell you that the the male dog is in the doghouse. Any ideas? Well, he got caught looking at, at another uh, dog, and, and he's <laughs> supposedly married. Yeah. No, no, no woman in the world would like to your the husband to be looking at another, another woman like that. She right. he was really wanted to have something with the dog, so yeah. <laughs> he got, yeah. Yeah, that he was, was a great, uh, great language that you just used. I like that. He got caught looking at the female dog, so he was just looking, admiring her. The female dog even looked at him, and they were kind of in their own, you know, daydream because of the music and everything. And then, of course, he got caught looking by the wife. And so now we say, oh, he's in the doghouse, which means he's in trouble, you know. <laughs> so if uh, if you ever hear that, like on a movie or something, that's what it means. Like, you know, he got caught and he's going to be in the doghouse now, which means he's going to be in trouble. Maybe his wife's not going to, uh, you know, I don't know, have sex with him for that night or something. But the idea is anybody could be in the doghouse. It doesn't just have to be a male. Uh, you know, kids can be in the doghouse. It just means to be caught and to be in trouble now. So he's in the doghouse now. Is And we have songs, too, uh, that use that expression. He's in the doghouse now. That's a famous one. Okay, let me go back. And I think there was one more here. <laughs> okay, another different uh, scene altogether. Let me go back to the beginning. Let's see. Okay, uh, Jose, where are they going? Yeah. Where, where the, they, where the, are do they? the dogs uh, get uh, get all the the car and they are walking uh, to the bathroom. Yes. Yes. And uh, where are they? What is the place where they are? What do you call that? You know? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Okay. I may put it there. Yes. So they're, they, you can say they are at a gas station. So they're at a gas station. So they put, you can say he pulled yes. he yes. Pulled up, uh, to the pump. That's another way to describe the action that we see. He pulled his car up to the pump. The pump is where you get gas. All right, and then let's see what happens. Okay, Wellington, where is the father dog going? He goes to the shop. Uh-huh. Uh, he goes to the shop, he buys something, I don't know what. Well, uh, let's uh, watch for one more second here, and it'll tell you. Watch this. Okay, what did he get? Mm, I'm, not, I'm not sure. I don't see it, uh, very well. Okay. Is it, can anybody tell what he got? 
she followed the red room. Yes. So here um, in the United States, if you uh, if you go to the uh, uh, gas station and you want to use the restroom, a lot of times the the bathroom is locked, oh, so you have okay. to go get the key. So you have to oh, okay. go to the store. You don't have to buy anything, but you just have to ask for the key. And so he's asking for the key, and so he's getting the key, and all of the other dogs are getting out of the car. So would say they get. And now, now what are they doing? They got the restroom key to go to the restroom to do what? Uh, Anna <laughs> uh, And they uh, <laughs> uh, decided to drink uh, for a human. It could be Coca-Cola yeah. for dogs. <laughs> Different <laughs> liquid. <laughs> well, it's, it's just water. <laughs> but, uh, they're drink. You can say they are drinking, and we say from. They are drinking from the toilet. Yeah. So usually, when a human gets a key to the restroom, they're going to use the bathroom to go to the bathroom <laughs> to go pee or something, right? Yeah. But instead, they're dogs, so they're going to drink water. Yeah, I think it's just plain water. Uh, they're just drinking out of the toilet, is what we would say. Drinking from the toilet or drinking out of the toilet. So this is a, this is a good practice for describing using some of these phrasal verbs. All right, let's keep watching. What, what is what is the dad doing there? <laughs> uh, Greg, do you know how to describe that? Um, so he's, I think he's waiting for them. But at the same time, he is looking, uh, looking up at something. I think it is a toilet paper. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, the, the yeah, let's see if we can see it better here. It's actually a dryer. Yeah, it's a, we call that a hand, hand dryer or a blow dryer. So he decided, I don't know, to dry his hair or his car, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he got wet from the toilet. Yeah. So just like, just like humans, when they do something, they actually they go to this machine and that helps them to dry their hands. And here it is like that helps them to dry uh, dark hairs. Exactly. That's, uh, hmm. Okay. Okay, so um, Carlos, did they get gas? Uh, no. No. <laughs> yeah. Here um, in the United States, it depends on what state you're in, but sometimes when you go to a gas station, um, for example, in the state of Oregon, they will pump your gas for you. Like, you you don't need to pump your own gas, put your gas in, but other states, you have to get out and pump your own gas. But a lot of people go to a gas station only to use the restroom. So that's kind of what this is. They just went to the gas station to use the restroom, not to get gas. So that's just a funny thing that uh, humans do because a lot of times with restaurants, you're supposed to you know, be a customer to use the bathroom. But at a gas station, you can just go. Actually, I have this crazy idea about this commercial because okay, okay. when I look at the car and what they do, what they actually get out of the car, uh, yeah. what uh, to get out of the car, this gas station usually people park the car close to the gas station to pump the gas, but in his case they actually don't need it. So maybe this guy don't doesn't need so much uh, gas to actually <laughs> use it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. One of the things that's interesting about these commercials is that uh, we can interpret them in lots of different ways. We don't really know why they did this, and, and it's kind of fun to talk about it. Like maybe they it means this, or maybe it means that. So, okay, guys. Well, we used up our time, and uh, we had fun watching those videos. Hopefully, I don't know if they're very effective at selling more cars or not, but they're entertaining for a little bit. <laughs> so. Thanks for coming to class and have a great day, guys. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you.